Deuteronomy chapter 26 When you have come into the land that the Lord your God is giving you as an inheritance to possess, and you possess it, and settle in it, you shall take some of the first of all the fruit of the ground, which you harvest from the land that the Lord your God is giving you, and you shall put it in a basket, and go to the place that the Lord your God will choose as a dwelling for his name. You shall go to the priest who is in office at the time, and say to him, Today I declare to the Lord your God that I have come into the land that the Lord swore to our ancestors to give us. When the priest takes the basket from your hand and sets it down before the altar of the Lord your God, you shall make this response before the Lord your God. A wandering Aramean was my ancestor. He went into Egypt and lived there as an alien. Few in number, and there he became a great nation, mighty and populous. When the Egyptians treated us harshly and afflicted us by imposing hard labor on us, we cried to the Lord, the God of our ancestors. The Lord heard our voice and saw our affliction our toil and our oppression. The Lord brought us out of Egypt with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, with a terrifying display of power and with signs and wonders. And he brought us into this place and gave us this land, a land flowing with milk and honey. So now I bring the first of the fruit of the ground that you, O Lord, have given me. You shall set it down before the Lord your God and bow down before the Lord your God. Then you, together with the Levites and the aliens who reside among you, shall celebrate with all the bounty that the Lord your God has given to you and to your house. When you have finished paying all the tithe of your produce in the third year, which is the year of the tithe, giving it to the Levites, the aliens, the orphans, and the widows, so that they may eat their fill within your towns. Then you shall say before the Lord your God, I have removed the sacred portion from the house, and I have given it to the Levites, the resident aliens, the orphans, and the widows, in accordance with your entire commandment that you commanded me. I have neither transgressed nor forgotten any of your commandments. I have not eaten of it while in mourning. I have not removed any of it while I was unclean. And I have not offered any of it to the dead. I have obeyed the Lord my God, doing just as you commanded me. Look down from your holy habitation, from heaven, and bless your people Israel and the ground that you have given us as you swore to our ancestors a land flowing with milk and honey this very day the Lord your God is commanding you to observe these statutes and ordinances so observe them diligently with all your heart and with all your soul today you have obtained the Lord's agreement to be your God, and for you to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, and his ordinances, and to obey him. Today, the Lord has obtained your agreement to be his treasured people, as he promised you, and to keep his commandments, for him to set you high above all nations that he has made in praise and in fame and in honor, and for you to be a people holy to the Lord your God as he promised.